So next up, I'm going to have a look at making the crankshaft. This is the bit of material that they provide for that. So assumingly, the shaft has to be turned down. And I think they provide a, a bit of rod for part 16. So I think that's just a, a hole and one of these bits of metal in there. So this stock is already under dimension, so what I'm going to do is face the ends, put some tail stock support in. There was a lot of material to take off, so it was a case of doing many passes. I used WD-40 as a coolant, and every so often added more oil to the dead centre. The stock supplied had plenty of length, so I decided to make the shaft longer than needed, so that when trimmed to length, the centre drilled part would be removed. Okay, so I've turned the very end down, it only fits in one side. Oh, yeah, it does fit in both. And then I set a, a zero on the cross slide just to sort of get a dimension of, you know, a view or a visual for what I'm aiming for, and then I'll slowly take down the rest bit by bit until this slides on. Don't want it to be too tight because of the friction, but we don't want it too loose either because it'll just be sloppy. So I'll just keep going until it feels like the right sort of clearance, and uh, then try and sort this end out because I've got the tool at an angle to miss the dead center. It's causing a, an angled profile here instead of the 90 degrees I need, so I'll have to see how, how that goes. I removed 0.04 millimeters on each pass before trying the fitment again. Okay, through trial and error. It fits on there quite nicely. It swings under its own weight, so I'm going to say that's loose enough. So now I just need to try and turn this into a 90 degree corner up here.
Okay, so I need to drill the offset in the crank. So the plan is, is to drill and ream a hole to drop the crank um, down into the plate and then I can move the cutting bit offset and drill uh, the hole that's needed. I don't have any clamps yet, so improvised with an adjustable spanner to hold the parts to the plate while drilling. So I've just put some Loctite on this pin and pushed it into the hole while the part is being held in position there. Just raised it up on a, on a block of metal there just so it doesn't stick the part to the aluminium. Uh, the thread lock looks like it might have seen better days but I'm just going to leave that like that and hopefully that will set up and then it will just be a case of trimming the parts to length. This is how it looks so far. There's a, a little bit more play in that shaft than what I was hoping for. As I was um, cutting it down to size, it went beyond the dimension that I needed or was on the plan and it still wouldn't fit into the main body it was only when I then thought well maybe I should should ream it I re reamed the hole again and then uh, the, the shaft slid through the hole but at that point it was already a little bit too loose it's not too bad I've trimmed down the shaft to length and this side to length. Um, I guess once it's together, there might be a little bit more to trim off, but. There you go.